Konnichiwa, this is the Shogun's theme. And this is an unboxing of a review copy we got of the new stock market themed game, Market Mayhem. And it's from the Flyer Brothers, ages 12 and up, two to four players. And it is a stock market game. So here I have little Shogunstein, and he's currently in a stock market game in his economics class. How do you like the uh, stock market game in the assignment? I like it a lot because I get to apply theories that I think would work personally without having to risk anything. And what stocks did you invest in for your stock market project? I've invested in gold and aerospace defense companies. And have your stocks gone up, gone down? They've gone up. And what stocks have made the, the most money since you've been doing the project? Definitely gold. Okay. What stocks have done the worst since you started the project? Uh, I invested a couple Chinese companies. They lost a lot of value. Okay. Why do you think it's important for students to learn economics and to do a project like the stock market project? Because it's something that's definitely going to apply to your future, especially when you get into retirement accounts and other accounts that invest money for you. It's good to know where your money's going to. And when you get older, if you had the choice between, say, sports betting, the lottery, or the stock market, where do you think you would put your, your money? Definitely the stock market. And, and why is that? It's, it's the safest version, and it's, you're going to have the best chances of making money. Do you think economics teachers should incorporate stock market type projects? I do. All right. Thank you, little Shogunstein. So we have here a game and... We all know uh, games are fun, and this is a stock market themed game. So this could be something that in addition to a stock market type of game that a lot of economics classes use, this could be a good way to get kids interested in the stock market. And it's very different. When I was a kid, you'd have to use the, the newspaper and you know look up the, the price of the stock the next day in the newspaper. Then later on, Yahoo became a good site as, as well. So in looking at this stock market game, stock mar uh, market mayhem, and we also like stockpile, that's a game we've played a lot of. I think this is a good opportunity to get kids into stocks and in a, in a fun way, but it's obviously very important because unfortunately you see all of the advertisement for the lottery and, and sports betting, but in reality, you know, something like the stock market is a much better way for people to invest and I think it is a good way to get kids to at least understand the stock market. Even if they end up not investing in the stock market, they can understand, you know, again, you got your bulls and bears and just how the stock market works. So when I you know start playing this game and I'm also going to introduce it to some of the teachers that I that I work with in my side hustle, this is the type of thing I'm going to be looking for. Is this a way to teach how stocks work, but in a fun way? So again, just in the interest of full disclosure, the Flyer Brothers did send us this review copy. So uh, again, just to be transparent, we did get a review copy. So let's just go over what's in the box. And over the next few days and weeks, we are gonna play this and uh, give you our thoughts on the actual game and see if this is a, a good way to get kids and adults into the stock market. So obviously as an adult, I know about the stock market. I work with people with a side hustle. In social studies, they know about the stock market. But let's also see if we can get uh, kids interested in this as well. So we have a, a rule book. And I noticed online that there was a Meeple uh, University, um, if, uh, Stella, that has a, a video on how to, to play. And they got a great channel. I've, I've used that channel to, to learn how to play a lot of games. So in addition to the rule book here, we do have resources like their video. So not a lot of rules here. The box also on the inside had the different stocks, the different companies I guess you can play with. Now in, in Stockpile, which is again the other stock market game that I can compare things to, you don't have this many companies. So here you have a, a bunch of different companies. So you got energy, you got defense, beverage, you got uh, travel, health, 
So you got a bunch of different types of uh, companies like Wu-Tang Financial, you gotta diversify. So that's gonna be interesting that we have these different companies to, to use. So again, uh, this is from the Flyer Brothers. They were nice enough to send us this review copy. So how are we gonna be calculating things? So we got a nice full pad here. And that's the tracking sheet. Might be something we want to make some more copies of, maybe laminate, but you do have a nice full pad here. We have a, a board. Now, online, I did see some comments that some people felt the board looked a little too much like a, a Monopoly board. Well, I think a lot of people, uh, if they aren't hardcore gamers, Monopoly might be their, uh, what they know about gaming. So I think, uh, I don't think it's a bad thing to have a board that uh, looks like something that uh, people are used to. Again, I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know, you know, in terms of how the game plays, if this style of board, you know, works best. But it does look like a Monopoly type board. It's not a huge board, so a lot of games lately are, are table hogs. This is not a, a table hog at all. But again, that just was some of the comments that I did see that people were like, hey, it looks like I'm in a really board. All right, we got our pit board with, again, the different uh, stocks and companies that we saw. Again, we got our electronics, our energy, defense. So again, we are diversifying. All right, we got a stand uh, to put our pit board on. Now this is something that I think is underutilized in board gaming, and that's paper money. So we do have some paper money. We got it in the, the 5,000s, the 100s, the 1,000s, the 10,000s, 500, and 50,000. do have some cards, we got a pencil sharpener for our pencils, we got calculators, again we're going to do some math, so again, as we're looking to do something fun, but at the same time as educational, I don't see how you can go wrong with having math, including incorporating math into a game that uh, is fun, but you're educating at the same time, so if you can find a way to get people to do some math, it, other than just keeping score, I think that's a good thing. So we got some calculators here. We got our pencils. We got dry erase. We got dice. I'm over here now. Little Shogunstein mentioned that he's invested in gold in the stock market project. We got a gold bar. So that's a look at what's in the, the box of Market Mayhem. Again, we got our paper money. We got our board. We got a pad. And uh, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, learning the game. And we're looking forward to, again, you know, trying it out with uh, some people at my side hustle in education. And also just uh, see how it works with, you know, uh, kids. And also, as usual, uh, also do some colorblind perspectives. As you know, Shogunstein is colorblind. And we'll see if color is an issue in the, the game as, as well. So again, I want to thank the people at Flyer Brothers and Market Mayhem uh, sending us this uh, review copy of Market Mayhem. We're looking forward to uh, playing it and letting you know our, our thoughts and seeing uh, what we think. And, you know, again, is it fun and is it also educational? Can you combine the, the two in any way to kind of gamify the classroom? I am always uh, for. So, again, you know, we do things like uh, book it and Kahoot and, and Gimkit. We're always trying to, to gamify. So again, if we can take something like uh, banking and stocks and you know the bull market, the bear market, and uh, do something fun with it and get kids interested and understand how 
the economy works, I think it's a good thing. So this is the uh, Shogunstein, Market Mayhem. Thank you, Flyer Brothers. Shogunstein out.